All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and citations, all the like Akim Aqua, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. All right, and I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize for this disgu disgusting image <laughs> that's on the screen. I'm going to just read this title. It says, This is why we are disrespected and laughed at on an everyday basis. These celebrities are not leaders, they're puppets to keep Jake living in sin. Psalms 44 and 14. Thou makest us a byword among the people. The heathen, a shaking of the... Uh, thou makest a byword among the heathen. A shaking of the head among the people. All right, absolutely disgusting. That's big old Lizzo with her big nasty cell phone all on the stage. You know, this is you know, a simple video, but one of, the, one of the things you gotta come to understanding and realizing this truth is fuck these niggas, man. Our people will be back together with us in the kingdom of heaven until then they have to be utterly obliterated. That includes even up to, but not even up, but not limited to <laughs> your family, you know, your mother, your sister, father, dad, son, wife, whoever, and whatever. We can't bring these people on them chariots, you know, Lord willing, we be a part of that number, but we're striving and fighting. These Negroes is not striving and fighting. All right, Latinos and Native Americans, the wicked of our people love it here. They don't think like how we think, y'all. They don't ask the Lord for forgiveness when they do wrongdoings. They don't try to make sure they're in a good standing with the brotherhood, you know. They don't try to make sure they're training up their kids the white way, you know, that they're leading the household with them. They're not thinking about none of that. All right? It's, it's, it's 119 on a Sunday, and a nigga want to eat some pork right now. These niggas in church waiting for the pastor to tell them to go downstairs and get that dollar hot dog. Five dollar hot dog correction. All right, these niggas can't come with us, man. Romans nine and nine. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Con. So this is not, you know, they're not uh, incapable of receiving the truth, you know, without reason. The heavenly Father has purposely blinded them, so they're not gonna do it no matter what we do or say. They're not gonna fucking get it, y'all. We're out there to preach to the those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Everybody else can effectively go fuck themselves because they're not really about it, about it for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai anyway, as Jake say, you know. Here it is, all these niggas got all these phrases for what they are and what they ain't, but they never apply them when it comes to the Lord. Everybody are real until it's time to serve the Lord, but that they don't have it in them. So it's up for the elect to have it in them, y'all. So don't feel sorry for these people. Jeremiah wanted to get away from these fucking monkeys, man. And I don't blame them. Jeremiah 9 and 1. All right, a real simple lesson, but just reestablishing the fact. The times that we're coming into, we're going to see the masses of our people get slaughtered. To the point to where, you know, it's going to be looking bad. So don't, don't, as we get closer to it, don't start getting that, that, oh my, meth. hey. We understand, you know, the shit sucks when the police kill. It, it does, okay. It, it's embarrassing on us because we're the ones that are trying and it makes like it makes it look like we're a part of the group too and we're old and we're not so you just have to accept that you know what the deal is fuck what everybody else thinks about us all right these people the wicked of ours have to go jeremiah 9 and 1 constantly disrespected the prophets constantly denied the word of the lord they have to suffer and that is one of the major things that you have to understand otherwise the scriptures won't make sense to you which is why you see at other camps when we be, uh, you know, they you know, when we be getting on our people heavy, a lot of these other camps will start bugging out. Okay, Jeremiah nine and one. Oh, that my head were waters and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, that I might leave my people and go from them, for they be all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men. And that's what we're dealing with here, man. Sometimes you just want to get the fuck away. What's that song? I forget by his name. I'd want to fly away. Yeah, well, I think that's Lenny Kravitz ass, man. Sometimes you just want to sprout wings and get the fuck on. Because no matter how much you preach to these monkeys, they're not fucking getting it. And Jeremiah in the first verse, you know, he said, you know, I, I would weep. But the second verse, he said, man, fuck them. I just want to go. And that's the spirit that you'll righteously be in because you understand that they are a people that cannot the only way that they're going to learn this is through a death by pain all right that's second address nine they've been ignoring the heavenly father man 
So if they've been ignoring him, how much more us? If they ignored Yahweh Shai, how much more us? These judgments have to come to cleanse them. All right, let me see. That's how they're going to learn righteousness. The brother mentioned this scripture yesterday. Isaiah 26, yep, and 9. It says, With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. That's when they're going to finally fucking get it, when the world's ending. Not no sooner. The elect and the one third are going to wake up, but the wicked of ours, they're going to have to die. And you got to let, you have to spiritually let go of your people. All right. This isn't the, the days of Moses, you know, where we about to wander around with 40 years for the, for, with these Negroes. The scriptures say that the Lord is going to purge them out. All right. Not one wicked of our people is going to go up in them chair. I, I brought this out in a recent video, but I'm going to have to bring it out again. All right. Uh, Ezekiel 20 and 38. I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that trans transgress against me. They transgress against the Lord. All right. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Plain and fucking simple, man. That's how it has to go down. It can't go down any other way. We can't squeeze in anybody. They must learn this lesson through death. Then they will be, be reborn in a righteous state. That doesn't allow them to sin. That's the only way the majority of our people are gonna fucking make it. And you have you gotta let them go, man. This bitch can't make it in there with us, man. You know. Granted, you have scripture say, you know, that the uh, you know, said the harlots will make it in before some of the motherfuckers who know they Israelites, but at that Lizzo ain't making it, man. You know. <laughs> at least she repent. But <laughs> more than likely her fat nasty ass ain't gonna repent. And the majority of our people are not gonna fucking repent. The majority of our people are homeborn slaves and they love the white man. They cleave to his ways, which is why they have to die. So don't, you know, I find myself being pissed off in my mind a lot. But truly, y'all, you just got to understand this is the will of the Lord. You know, don't vex yourself too heavy in your mind. They're not going to get it. It's just as simple as that. All right, we'll go back to Jeremiah real quick. All right, so, you know, hey, just be glad the Lord is dealing with, with us, you know, with yourself ultimately. Jeremiah 15 1, then said Yahweh Bashamel Shai unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be towards his people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. All right, so the Heavenly Father's tired of Jacob. We can, we can no longer, we're no longer in the ability, you know, you read like Moses, you know, he prevented the nation. Matter of fact, I'll go to that real quick. If you go to Exodus 32. Because the Heavenly Father is about to get rid of Jake. So, uh, Exodus 32, and we'll start at uh, 11. And Moses besought Yahweh Bashem Yahushai's power and said, Lord, why doth thy wax, why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? <laughs> you know, hey, even though he's like, Lord, you know. You know what type of hard-headed niggas these niggas is? It says, verse 12, Wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent of this evil against thy people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants of whom thou swearest by thine own self and saidest unto them, I will multiply your seeds as a, your seed as the stars of heaven. And in all this land that I have spoken of, I will give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of the evil that, and the Lord repented of the evil which He thought to do unto His people. So Moses pleaded for us. All right, but this ain't the times of Moses no more. He's not going to be able to plead on behalf of the whole nation anymore. All right, and granted, now this time it's only the elect whom sins are covered by the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which is why Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is the mother effing man. All right. Because he came in and, and ultimately all the nations are going to receive salvation by way of being reborn through the elect's lines. So that's the goal for now. All right. The goal right now is the elect, the brotherhood. That's who you deal with on your day to day. That's who you show love to. All right. Now, you don't go around being a hard ass to everybody because that's a good way to get yourself into conflicts and fights. But truly, everybody else on planet Earth can go F themselves. Everybody else on planet Earth can go utterly F themselves. And then. And I mean everybody. I'm talking about the wicked of our people. You got to understand that and internalize that and be okay with that. All right. 
F the F them. F them. All right, play. You know, real quick video. Just getting that getting that vibe out there. We're about to see many of our people die. Like in that vision in Ezekiel nine, he's like, Lord, is you gonna kill them all? You know, it's about to it's about to get real bad out here. We can't start hauling up. Here it is. We didn't prophesy all these years about the judgments that's coming when they come. We can't start hauling up and, and trying to, uh, you know, backstepping. We got to stand firm in this, all right? These motherfuckers going to be destroyed. When they start getting destroyed, it's going to be what it's going to be. All right? Ain't nobody hopping in front of the judgments this time, you know? So that's about it. This fucking fat whale of a creature, man. Psh, man, man. Come on. Hey, I'm going to give all praises to you. How about you? How about you? How about you? The one of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and citations to all the like Akim, while Akwath, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity, shalom.